Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. I'm here at the Motorhome and Caravan Show and I'm on the Auto Sleepers stand. Auto Sleepers is a UK manufacturer that specialise in motorhomes and now a good range of van conversions. And that's what I'm going to be looking at here on their stand today, the Auto Sleepers M Star. It's based on the Mercedes cab and this looks absolutely fantastic. It's the first time I'm seeing it, so I'll give you some a few facts and figures, uh, but all the details will be on the website below and I will put uh, a link to that. So let's get cracked on. So the M Star, as I say, first time I've seen it, it's based on the Mercedes, it's got the diesel engine and it has 163 brake horsepower. Now this is 7.1 meters long. It doesn't have a pop top, it has a fixed roof. We'll just come round the front and have a look at the front of the Auto Sleeper M Star. So we can see here that big Mercedes badge, the Mercedes cab. We've got, uh, we don't have a sunroof just there, but there's several up on the roof. I'll take us down the off side first of all. So the habitation door is on the near side, but we'll just circle round on the off side first of all. So it does have a leisure gas system fitted, which you can maybe see just down there. We've got a cassette point here. I love these blacked out windows, if you can see down there. Now this motorhome does have an MTPLM or a maximum weight of 3,880 kilos. So you are going to need a C1 on your license to drive this, but you do get a payload of over 400 kilos. We've got an electrical cut point here. We've got the Mercedes wheels. We've got a water filler point that's here. And then we have the Alder vent. So this vehicle, it does come standard with the Alder wet central heating. It's also got Wi-Fi installation and it does have a solar panel on the roof as well. Let's take a look at the back doors. Now we have got a little, um, don't you see the rope there? So I can't climb in this way, but we can look at that. So looking in, both the back doors open. It's got a reversing camera just up there. And then we can see here, we've got a little storage compartment on that left side. The doors both have windows in, which are tinted and have got blinds. We'll just come round and we can see it at this angle as well. So large opening doors. Then we'll come down the near side of the M Star. So again, we've got these beautiful dark tinted windows, the sliding door. We're getting a two-lay Orminster. It's a wind out canopy. We can see that in black running the full length of this fan conversion. And then we do have an electric step as well. So what we'll do now is we'll go inside. This M Star is priced at £125,000. So it is really at the top end of the van conversions. But auto sleepers, those that have them, always say what a great build quality they are. So you are getting probably what you're paying for, I'd imagine, on this brand. So the electric step's currently retracted. It's just down there. It's actually got um, a light in it, which is really nice. Because the door's so um, large and sweeping, we've got a huge entry point. Just bear in mind, obviously, you would lose um, quite a bit of heat as you open that door if you opened it all the way um, in colder weather. Let's go in and have a look at the M Star. So we step in, we've got a little Auto Sleepers um, logo there. Let's head into the cab. So as I say, it's a 163 brake horsepower, it's automatic. We're getting this beautiful, the Mercedes uh, infotainment system there, multifunction steering wheel, electric windows, and we have got a leather finish. So the driver's seat um, doesn't look like it does swivel around because we do have this sort of bulkhead here to my uh, side here. We've got position there. It looks like you're probably able to fit a table into the floor there. We have got a passenger seat that does swivel. We've got blinds all round, the auto sleepers lo logo there. Let me turn us round. So we have got a mirror just there. Now on the off side, we're going to, let's start here on the off side. We've got a door here. That opens up into this bathroom area. Um, I don't know if I can find a light switch for it as we go. No, I probably can't. So I won't start looking, but we've got the Thetford swivel toilet, a radiator from the Alder, a toilet brush, toilet roll holder, window with blind, and it is blacked out. Little storage cupboard up there. There is a towel rail. And then we've got a shower as well on this offside. That looks nice, good size shower cubicle. And that's actually got a little integrated sink with black tap and then the shower head up there and another mirror. There are two lights in there. So if I knew where the light switch is, it's probably really, really bright in there. I'll close that up. Um, just have a look. Let's just go. 
I'll just see if I can show you this. So we have got a Hecky here, and then we have also got air conditioning fitted as well. That's the Truma Aventa air conditioning. We'll come down the near side. We've got a utility flap as part of the kitchen. That's really good size. I'm pleased to see that. We've got a sink here. Let's open that. Good size sink, a black tap, swivel tap here. And then we've got a couple of pull out drawers. I'll just have a quick look. Oh, that's a little flap. That's a cupboard. We've got another one down here. Let's have a look. Another little storage cupboard. I think there's a pull out tray here. So you cut the trays there. And then moving along, we've got the Thetford um, gas hobs, three of those, and an electric ring for when you are on hookup. And then we've got Thetford grill and oven. I'll just step back. We find here on the offside, we've got a Dometic microwave. So it's good to see that in the conversion and the tower fridge freezer as well. I'll see if it opens on this side. Let's go really good size tower fridge freezer from Dometic. We've got a storage cupboard up there, one here. This is probably going to be a wardrobe. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got wardrobe here with the Alder tank as well. Plenty of storage space in there. We've got an extractor fan as well over the oven. That's fantastic. A couple more cupboards. And then we come back into this really nice lounge. So the floor space it is fairly narrow, but don't forget this is a van conversion. It's not a motorhome. We've got beautiful leather sofas that we can see here. These are six foot one long. So you can use these as either singles, as we can see, or as a great big double bed. We've then got down there the table as well. So we've got a table in here and it's quite a nice aspect if you think you sort of sat out and back doors open and looking out into whatever you're looking into. This folds down so it's somewhere to drop down and put some drinks on. USB charger. And then if I just swivel us around, we have here the Avtex television, which is on a bracket. Our control panel for our lights and heating in the M Star various storage cupboards we'll just have a little look in one of those we don't need to see all of them gives us the idea this is sort of like a, a fake i don't know almost like a brickwork effect but it's solid that's nice some curtains and then say we can see out of the back there so i'll just step back so we can see that as we come out of the m star so we've got this big lounge area fairly narrow um gangway but it is um a van conversion and this good kitchen, plenty of um, flaps and worktop space and tables. I'll just have a quick look in the cab as before I step out. So that's that cab space again on the auto sleepers. And then I will dive us out this way. And there we go. We'll just have one more look at it from a bit of a distance, just so you can all get a good idea of what it looks like. So there we are. That is the M Star from Auto Sleepers, Mercedes based, 125,000 pounds, 7.1 meters long, uh, automatic, uh, really well equipped. First time I've looked at one for 125,000 pounds. I'd like to think it was well equipped and it is. So that could be a contender if you're looking for a Mercedes based van conversion. Thanks to Auto Sleepers for letting me come on their stand and film. Thank you to you for all watching again. So thank you. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.